not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. T tell me when the servers are back up. <laughs> to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? You know, you can pick this up now for like, for like 12 to 10 dollars. You can buy this. Um, and you get VR missions where you play as Grey Fox. Uh, you get the original two Metal Gears from, um, you know, the 80s. From the um, Mega Drive. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. The one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. This, this was writing, uh, this is like S tier writing, you know. This is how you make bosses. Code name is you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by code. <laughs> what about what about solid what about solidus snake? You know. Yes, this is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. And naked snake. <laughs> Look at that, 1998 this game out. Fuck it, hell, I'm old. frame rate. <laughs> Remember all the little PlayStation magazines they would have? This is this would be the greatest game of all time for like ten years. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. That's uh, Liquid, isn't it? His, his brother, twin brother. Spoiler alert. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees Go in. Oh, sure. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency Let me know when you're on the bridge. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go.
This was supposed to be a sneaking mission, wasn't it? <laughs> Spotted right, right off the rip. I'm de I'm definitely rusty. I, I'm on hard mode, so <laughs> go easy on me. got no bloody soliton radar. Serious now, that was just a warm up. for days. Uh, there's only two. One comes down in the elevator, doesn't it? Put me back in the game. They put me back in the game, baby. Oh, there we go. They put me back, baby. I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby.
Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Hit that spot on the side of your nuts. Oh. <laughs> you don't actually scratch your nuts, you actually uh, pinch them, don't you? <laughs> Woo! That should be feeling fire! <laughs> Blasphemous. He has a vagina. <laughs> Man, these polygons, they're just doing it for me. The polygons. It's like really low texture graphics on PS1. Remember Tomb Raider's uh, boobs, Lara Croft's booba. Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a pot <coughs> right there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked up. Um, I'm not really sure. I, I think it was like about the 16th century when um, they started getting rid of knights. I think that was really the, the point where they wanted a militia, obviously, to beat back the French. But I think, uh, I don't know, I think it was probably like 18th or 19th century, they, they uh, just didn't want, um, there was too many jewels going on, you know? Too many people were dying. Like, jewels. Jewels. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> you know, like, uh, a duel, yeah. Yeah, it was it was legal in the um, like 17th, 18th century in the in the UK, and then they got rid of it. Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced you to yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual. We're not. I can't really remember. Like we we always had a militia, but yeah, I think when they got rid of the militia and they had like a dedicated armed forces and got rid of the the knights, that was really the bad thing. When they got rid of like armored knights. And they just decided they didn't want regular people being armed, I guess. I, don't know. I just didn't expect a world class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I'm well, bored. It, it, it depends. Um, it depends who, who, who's fighting in World War Three. Like, what are the what are the countries? Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. Well, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure out who's fighting in World War Three. You know, what country? If you need some information or advice, I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your... I think you, I think you got to ask yourself, like, who do you, you want to fight? I remember. 
First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. No, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, so okay, then you, you, um, unless you want to fight for your country, I think. Think. thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. I mean, do, do you personally, do you want to fight for America? It's the fastest way. You always have a choice. Just take your family and uh, relocate. Or become a Mexican. Armed with five, five, sixers, pineapples. Um, I'll just maintain my life in Fiji. That'll be that'll be I'll be happy with that. And, uh... <laughs> I can't see it from here. So you, you can't take your bank loan. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Yeah, they're fucking with the dog. You heard that shit? Footprints of these. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dude, dude is obsessed with guns, bro. <laughs> what the hell? I, did, I remember that shit. He's a run all over you. So I moved out here for Blue Denny, he's scared. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation. What were you doing to your dog up there? There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So I, honestly, I think I think it's worth the sacrifice, you know. My frequency is one four one point eight zero. Look, look, man. I don't know if you've ever been to the UK, but we have a lot of fucking, we have a lot of lunatics and crackheads and. Um, absolute spastics in the UK, and the last thing you want to do is give them a bunch of guns. <laughs> huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor. We, we don't even like our government. <laughs> like, like, they tried to do a kind of conscript, and no one would join the army. <laughs> Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. 
say he's using stealth to yeah it's crazy man there's an intruder besides me anyway i want you to increase the security detail on the chief i don't know man the uk passport's pretty good visit over 250 countries if you want so i think it's worth it i'm quite I'm not proud to be British, but I'm I'm happy I grew up in this country, even if it is a even if it is a third world country now. Um, probably jump on a boat and get the fuck out. I, I wouldn't go to Scotland, we got most of our nuclear submarines up there. <laughs> that, that would be the first target, bro. <coughs> fuck Scotland. Well, you know what I mean. If it was like a surprise invasion or whatever. Nah, but America would be nuked to shit. It would be a complete wasteland. It would be like Fallout 4. Russia has 20,000 nuclear missiles. Sorry, 40,000, but whatever. <laughs> I think you really underestimate like China and Russia, man. They're, they've been working on nanotechnology. They've been working on shit that America, like the staff has not even heard of. Watching, uh, been watching too many movies, bro. Um, I would hate it if it ever come to that anyway. Like, it would be a shit world to live in if there was any kind of nuclear war.
not him. Speaking of, uh, speaking of DARPA. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? Now, imagine if someone built a Metal Gear, like a Metal Gear Rex or something. Game over. It's true. You don't look like in that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information <laughs> about the terrorists. Terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <laughs> Warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. Meryl Silverberg. Okay. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge project the boss. between us and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. How's that make? Oh shit! The servers are back up. Let's fucking go. Revolution. Revolution. Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name. Naomi, the chief. Uh, what happened? No support. I, I... I don't support it. Stop it, Chief. Poor man. He has a heart attack right after you save him. I'm getting a bad feeling oh, about this. Anybody sneak. better than Biden, but I still don't support it. Yeah, like, I, I mean, like, he, he was better than Biden. Yeah, he was better than Biden, but I don't, I, I don't support him.